Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I am knitting, not right now, but most of the time. So here's the deal. For today's video, I'm going to unbox my fall surprise box. This is from Twice Sheared Sheep and it arrived today. I have been eagerly awaiting the fall surprise box. If you're not familiar, Twice Sheared Sheep is a small business, woman owned, makes the most amazing and helpful knitting and crochet notions. So I have been a brand ambassador with Twice Sheared Sheep a little under a year now. I think I was first starting with them in November of 2022. And I've had an excellent year working with them and working with their products. I use a Twice Sheared Sheep notion pretty much on every single knitting or crochet project that um, I work on because they just make the making process so much better for me. The whole point of these notions is to make the making process more enjoyable and that's definitely the case for me, particularly their row counters and their tip ties. I really, really uh, uh, utilize those to the max. So. The fall surprise box is here. A little background on what this box is. Basically, over the course of this year, 2023, Twice Sheared Sheep has had a surprise box subscription. So there was one for spring, there was one for summer, and there was one for fall. And that's the one that has arrived today. This is the last of the surprise boxes, with the exception of the advent box that is shipped in November for people to open every day of December leading up to December 25th. So I'm very, very excited about what's in here. This is all focused on fall and autumnal bliss. I have no idea what's in here. Some of my friends have already received their boxes, but they haven't posted what's in it. So this is all 100% a surprise to me and we'll open it up together. So I will say, if you have a fall surprise box coming and you wanna keep it a surprise, maybe wait to watch the rest of this video because it's gonna spoil it for you. So if you want that um, surprise yourself when you open up your box, then by all means, save this video for later so you don't ruin the surprise for yourself. So without further ado, let me switch the camera view and we'll open this up together. All right, I'm speeding this up to four times speed and I'll just go over. We've got some stitch markers with acorns and leaves. They're size large. We've got a lobster clasp owl stitch marker and a odd even row counter for knitting flat. A pom pom, this is super big and fluffy along with a skein of twice sheer cheap everyday merino worsted weight yarn in the colorway pine. Some tip ties, love having those. Another critter stitch marker, bamboo wooden cable needles, an owl storage tin. And next we have a project bag. It says my little bag of secrets. And inside it has the twice sheer cheap tag. And then in this beautiful box, we have a gorgeous wooden yarn bowl and it even has a lid. I do not have a yarn bowl with a lid, so I'm extremely excited about this yarn bowl. Um, wow. <laughs> okay, I'm a little taken aback. Um, uh, wow. This is by far my favorite box of the three surprise boxes that Twice Sheer Cheap has sent out this year. Um, wow. I shouldn't be surprised. Fall is my favorite, um, but wow, I, wow, I'm really impressed. And, and there are some items that I'm totally surprised by. So I'll just go in order of the things that I took out. And the first thing is these adorable acorn and oak leaf stitch markers. And they're on a size large Melody clip. So they're going to fit up to a size 10 and a half needle so 
uh, that's perfect if you work with larger needles. I think I only have one other set of stitch markers that are large enough to work with larger needle sizes, um, which is also from Twice Year Cheap. But since I only have one set, this is going to come extra in handy for me. Super cute acorn stitch markers. Then the next thing I pulled out, and I'll pair these together, two clip style markers, and I've talked about this before, but the clip markers from Twice Sheared Sheep are pretty large. You can see those lobster clasps are rather large, and that is great for um, using as a progress mark, so clipping onto the actual fabric you're making. I wouldn't recommend doing it on like a fingering weight because the lobster clasp is so large, you don't wanna, you know, pull pull your fabric around and, and make some wonky tension doing that. But these are also great when I get my nails done, which is once in a blue moon, but when I have longer nails, it's hard for me to open up small lobster clasps, but I don't have that problem with the twice sheared sheep lobster clasps. So acorns, a nice owl, a friendly squirrel, and I don't even remember the order anymore, so I'm just gonna keep going in a random order. But how funny is it that there are tip ties in there? I had no idea these are in there, but I add these on to most orders that I place with Twice Year Sheep because they're so handy. They're basically silicone tubing cut into, I think, two inch sections or so and then you can use those to put on the tips of your needles as needle stoppers, stitch protectors. Um, you could make this yourself. You could buy a spool of silicone tubing on Amazon or at a craft store or I don't know, wherever you buy silicone tubing and cut yourself two inch sections. Um, but I don't wanna do that myself. I like the convenience of just buying it from Twice Year Cheap and I like the fact that it comes in three sizes per pack. So love a tip tie. Uh, also love this cute owl tin. I think Dawn probably painted this. Um, she's very, very talented. Well, I'm not sure. I don't see her signature on this one, but usually she does paint the watercolors. Dawn, the owner of Twice Sheared Sheep, she usually paints the watercolors that are featured on Twice Sheared Sheep merchandise. Uh, so I'll have to ask her about that if she did that. But this will fit a lot of goodies and let me grab it. I have another tin from Twice Sheared Sheep that I keep at my cranking station that has an owl. So these can be new friends. I have a coffee owl and an autumnal bookworm owl. So they'll be fast friends, I'm sure. So we have acorn stitch markers, two lobster clasp markers, tip ties. Now, this is another serendipitous inclusion in the surprise box. Tip ties were the first one because I had already mentioned how much I love them. But these, I was actually going to place an order for uh, these exact bamboo cable needles. But I waited because I thought, you know, maybe there's a chance it will be in the fall surprise box. Again, I had no idea that what was in here. Um, and I need wooden cable needles for my trip to Ireland. We have a few knitting workshops with Irish knitting experts. And one of the workshops is being taught by Carol Feller. And on her list of things that we need to bring in addition to our knitting needles is she wants us to bring a cable needle. And she noted in the item list that wooden cable needles are preferred. Perfect. Okay, so I have that. Check. I don't have to make a separate purchase. That is all set. Also in the box, this is really just chock full of incredible stuff. I have a skein of Twice Sheared Sheep Everyday Merino in the pine colorway. I've really wanted to try this yarn. This is a worsted weight yarn and it comes with 185 yards over 100 grams. It might be Aran weight actually, um, but it's a nice, thick, cushy yarn. The color is really rich. It's gonna look beautiful on me. Oh my gosh, 
I'm gonna make this into a hat for Ireland. Is there time? There's totally time. And it comes with this faux fur pom-pom. I'm always interested in these big pom-poms and I haven't bought one yet, um, but I've only ever been able to find affordable um, pom-poms that are four inches in circumference. And this I think is six inches, it's massive. And that's just what you want for a nice cushy beanie. So, oh my gosh, probably should, probably should make that into a hat for Ireland. And if I don't have time to make it into a hat for Ireland, this could be definitely a nice Christmas hat. So, that's so cute. Okay, so I've got a pom-pom, a skein of yarn. This is also funny because I recently placed an order for two um, odd even row counters. That's what this is. Basically is one of the strings is odd numbers and another of the strings is even numbers. And what you do is you use this for flat knitting. You use one for your right side rows and one for your wrong side rows. And I'll make a video to show you how I use mine. Um, but I quickly learned when I'm knitting flat, it's too confusing for me to use a traditional row counter that has every number from zero to nine uh, because I'm like, I don't know, I second guess myself if I'm on an odd number or an even number. And the whole point of these notions is to eliminate that stress and eliminate that need to turn my brain on to count. So um, odd even row counters are a must have, in my opinion, for knitting flat. So super glad to add this to my collection. Like I said, I just ordered two, two of these, but I don't have any odd even row counters that are a size large. So these are going to fit up to a size 10 and a half needle, and that's determined by how large um, these chains are. So this will fit my large needles for when I do flat knitting on um, uh, bulkier projects or projects using those larger needle sizes. All right, next, let's talk about this project bag. I really love this project bag, my little bag of secrets. Um, that's cute and stuff, but that's not the reason I'm I'm really impressed here. This feels like like if burlap was was soft. <laughs> it's I don't know. It's like what? It, how do you? Do, what is this called? Twill? That feels wrong. I don't know. If, I don't know like textile names, but it feels like like a potato sack in terms of how sturdy it is, but it's really soft. It feels really nice. And then the lining is nice and we've got a zipper. So this would be great for a one skein project to just toss in your um, work bag or your purse. In fact, I think that's what I will use this for to have with me on the go and um, be easily portable. Now, the last thing that I opened of this box, I have to show you. This is so cute. This is a yarn bowl. I have two other yarn bowls. Um, I have one that is ceramic that I painted at like a paint your own ceramic studio, ceramic cafe, I think it's called. And then I also have a wooden one, but neither of them have a lid. How cool is that? So I'm assuming that when I am pulling my yarn, let's focus on the bowl. When I'm pulling my yarn out of either the swirl part or one of these holes here, Oh, I wonder if you could do two colors at a time to do color work. Something to think about. Um, but when I'm pulling the yarn out of here, it's not going to have any issue of coming out the top. I'm assuming I'll have to try it out. But that is really, really nice. It's so smooth and sturdy. Wow, what a good haul. So I will say that this fall surprise box, I didn't purchase it with my own money. I um, earned it through uh, the number of affiliate sales I had um, with Twice Year Cheap's, Twice Year Cheap over the course of, what? Well, what's today? September? So over the course of um, June, July, and August. So um, I hit a certain threshold, therefore they gifted me the fall surprise box. And I'm really happy that I earned this because this is my favorite of the bunch. I really, really like this. I love the fall theme. I love the yarn bowl. I'm excited to have a large pom-pom. And truly, how serendipitous is this that not only did they have tip ties, the item that I said I love, 
but also they have the wooden cable needles that I needed to buy anyway, and now I don't have to. So they saved me a step there. So yes. Oh, also with their surprise boxes, they have these cute little info cards that show you um, what has come in it. So as I'm putting this back, I'm gonna take a nice photo of everything together. Um, but if you're watching this and you're thinking, man, I wish I hadn't missed out on the surprise box. Well, you're in luck because even though the surprise boxes have had their moment, don't worry, there is still time for you to purchase an advent box if you wanna open up a small little present each day of December leading up to December 25th, or you could open up all 25 boxes when it arrives at your door. There are no rules, you know, you're the captain of your own ship. But if you want to participate in the advent box, they still have a few on their website. I'll put my affiliate link in the video description box if you're interested. Um, but either way, I hope that you enjoyed seeing all the goodies that was in this surprise box. I don't know if Twice Year Cheap will be doing the surprise box in 2024, but I hope so because this was really, really fun. I was able to receive the spring box, the summer box, and the fall box, and I can confidently say they did not disappoint. Really, really fun uh, truly surprises, just like the name says. So I think that's a pretty good roster. That's a pretty good um, group of goodies. I'm really, really happy with this surprise box and really thankful to have received it. If you also got the fall surprise box, let me know what your favorite item was. Um, and also let me know if there were variations. Cause like I said, at the time of filming this, I haven't seen anyone else's boxes. So I don't know if this is all uniform or if maybe there's some variation. Like for instance, in the spring surprise box, we had butterfly buttons and everyone got a different color out of a selection. So I don't know, for instance, maybe there are different pom-poms or different yarn uh, colors that are being distributed in the boxes. So if you have a little bit of variation from my box, let me know because I'd love to know what variety is out there. All right, that's all I have for you today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of my next upload. Last but not least, head over to Instagram and follow me at Rachel is Knitting if you don't already. All right, see you next time. Bye.